Did you realize Season of Dying will be over in just three short resets? How do you get best prepared for that? We'll talk about it next. Welcome back. This is Part-Time Guardian, and in this video, I'm going to be going over what you will be losing access to when a new DLC drops in three weeks, and how I currently think it's best to prepare for the DLC. Of course, everything we're talking about is subject to change, because there are times where Bungie will decide to change things right before a uh, season drops, but this is our best guess at this point, and based on what we've seen in Season of Dying, it's, it's pretty good to go with this advice. If you find this video valuable, please like the video and, and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, comment down below on what you'd like to see next. So yes, as a reminder, the season of The Undying will be over in three weeks. We don't know quite what will be in the next season, but we have a pretty good idea about what's going away and how best to prepare. I will first go over what is left in the season, and towards the end of the video, I will go into how you can best prep for next season, especially thinking about uh, leveling up your artifact for next season. So one of the things that will be going away is before the season is over, if you'd like to get the title of Undying, that will, you have to do that basically before December 10th at reset. So what's involved in that? The easiest way to find out is actually within the game or within the companion app. You can go into your triumphs and look for the title of Undying and it will list out what the steps are. The other thing you have to do in any season is you actually have to get the collections and the collections are typically for that season, typically particular armors, weapons, or ships that you need to get within that season. You have to do both to get the title. For Season of Undying, that means kills with a variety of guns in Vex Offensive. You need to get Arc and Void kills within a Vex Offensive. You need to get Finisher kills in Vex Offensive. You need to destroy Oracles in Vex Offensive. You have to complete levels in Vex Offensive. And you also have to do a flawless Vex Offensive. You need to defeat Vex Overlords on the moon. You need to do Finishers on the moon. And you also have to do public events with the full seasonal armor on. This coming week, the end of the Vex Offensive, the Vex Offensive Final Assault comes out, and that's one of the final things you need to do. You actually have to defeat the Undying Mine three times in that, and we don't know what that looks like yet. At the time this comes out, you probably have a better idea, but that's something you'll need to do. In the Collections tab, there's quite a few things you need to do. You actually have to do Nightfall Ordeal on Master Level to get the ship. You have to complete the Crucible, Gambit, and Vanguard Seasonal Bounties. Those are basically bounties that you could have picked up, quests, from the from those vendors. You have to complete, you have to get Leviathan's Breath, which, by the way, will be going away. If you're interested in getting that, uh, I have a guide here. I'll put a card up so you can kind of get to that to figure out how to do it quickly. Um, you'll need to complete Randy's Throwing Knife, which is a Crucible weapon. Uh, you'll need to get Exit Strategy, which is the Gambit weapon. And you'll need to get Edgewise which is the Vanguard weapon. Within the Vex Offensive, you'll have to get the four Vex Offensive specific weapons. Those are the Imperative, the Subjective, the Optive, and the Adderive. You'll also need to get the Seasonal Alloyed Armor Set. The easiest way to tell if you have this is again, you can obviously look in your collections. You can also go to a site called Destiny Sets. I use it quite a bit. It's very useful for kind of understanding what you have and what you need to get going forward. So again, this is if it's worth it to you. If you do get this title, then you're eligible to actually order the uh, pin for this. But again, it's up to you. It is a grind. You have to decide if it's worth it or not. Everything else in Shadow Keep, you have longer to do. So if you do want to get those things in the next three weeks, that would be the time to do it. So finally, how do we prevent prepare for the uh, seasonal grind next season? Um, as far as power goes, not exactly sure how that's going to work. Again, it's not clear what bounties are going to be important and things like that. However, we do know how the artifact's going to work. So one thing to keep in mind is you're limited to 63 slots between your bounties and your quests. So you're going to want to get rid of all the quests you possibly can because, again, they count against you. The next thing that's important is that you want to grind out all weekly bounties each week for the remaining three weeks for Crucible, Gambit, and Vanguard on each, if, each character if it's possible. These bounties actually reward the most... Um, XP. The other thing is they, re they reward Bright Dust, so it's up to you. Some people may still want to have Bright Dust this season, may want to turn those in so they can basically you know buy things this season, but again, those are going to be the most valuable things that you need to do. In addition, as far as weekly quests, and again, weekly quests are the most important, there's also weekly quests on the moon, the moon and with Banshee. Outside of this, the other weekly quests they may have on some of the other um, older planets, those aren't as important, so skip those. 
Now, obviously, once you grind out all the weekly quests, um, you're not going to be able to fill up 63 on all three characters. And again, getting all three characters depends if you have three characters. Also depends if it's worth it that much to you to kind of grind up quickly. After that, then you have to grind out dailies. And I'll kind of tell you which dailies are, are important. And again, for information on this, there's a Reddit thread that I will post down below where a lot of this information is. There's a good uh, spreadsheet. You know, those guys do a really good job of finding this information out. The ones that are important for dailies, again, are Gambit, Crucible, Vanguard, Moon, and pre-Forsaken planets that are daily. Again, these are your core planets, but not the ones from Forsaken. So with that, you're going to avoid the Dreaming City, Tangled Shore, Ada, or Warner. Again, it's up to you how much you want to grind on this. Play what you like, but keep in mind, these are the things that I mentioned that are going to have the most reward. The other things, they're not going to have as much XP. So again, try to get all those, and again, hoard those up. Don't turn them in yet. That's what you're going to do once the DLC drops. Now, once the DLC drops, that's one of the first things you're going to want to do. Obviously, at that point, we'll know what the missions are like. We'll know what the new content is. So you may have to play it by ear, but at least you'll have all these bounties. They'll allow you to get your seasonal pass up really quickly. I think when I did this last season, and I wasn't as efficient as I could have been because in going into the season, we didn't know what it was going to look like. I think it went up like 12, 15 levels pretty easily. You're going to want to have a guiding light ghost on because that gives you additional XP when you turn those in. Also, it may be useful for you to grind out endgame activities where you can, um, especially like the Nightfalls, things like that, because you can get prismatic shards and etc. for upgrading armor. So again, that might be useful. Again, we don't know what next season's going to look like, but that could be useful. I, I really don't have advice on the power grind yet, because again, we don't know what next season's going to look like. Um, but, you know, if it's like every other season, I'm sure the power grind is actually going to be pretty easy. It's going to be easy to get up to a certain soft cap, then it's hard cap. I do have a video on how to get 950, which I'll put a card up for here for last season. If you want to look at that, that'll probably give you a good idea of what it's going to look like going into this season. And that's it. Again, the thing about Destiny, again, remember, this, this channel is devoted to part-time guardians, people who do this kind of in their spare time. It's going to be up to you what you want to do and what's, what's valuable to you. But again, if you do this more efficiently... If you're doing bounties, you know, in other words, if you're going after one thing in, van in the Vanguard Strikes and you're also going after bounties that you're going to save for next season, that's a way to make sure that you're being efficient and that you'll be able to get through this stuff quickly. But again, it's up to you. Don't get burnt out in the game. You know, just make sure if you do want to get up quickly, this is my best advice on how to do that. So thank you for watching, guys. If you like the video, again, feel free to like it. Um, and again, feel free to subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. And again, as you subscribe, I'll know you're in the community. We can kind of have a conversation. We can talk about what videos we want to do in the future. Um, comment down below to tell me what you'd like to see next. Again, with the new season coming out, there'll be lots of new opportunities, lots of new activities. I'd love to see what kind of videos you'd like to see going into the season. And again, I'll see you guys in the tower.